ahead. So now we have, so let's just tell you where to access your files. Now you can go ahead and double click on it or drag it to your Illustrator and open it up. Okay, I'm I have a lot of things showing here, so I'm just going to move them around. <clears throat> now, if your Illustrator, you actually may have the top uh, showing correctly. I just need to check my tools to show them. Uh, so here we have different patterns. But before we actually discuss the pattern and creating them, uh, first thing I'm just going to discuss with you is a little bit of a gradient. And what I'm going to do first, I'm going to show you. You don't have to do it because I'm going to give you different steps. So now this is more of a show kind of thing. So gradient, uh, the easiest way to access gradient is actually you should have an option on a side here on your palette for gradient. If you don't see it, you can go under window and select gradient. Okay, there's other ways too. By default, you get, uh, by default is the white to black gradient. And the options here, you have several options here. And you see that little arrow on the side, the chevron? If you click on that, you have some presets to choose. But by default, anytime I start a gradient, I go back to my black and white unless I want to do something else. Now, also here on the side of it, you have type of gradient. Now, did you notice when I selected the shape, those shapes are grouped. So if I apply gradient to this, it may actually not work really well. So I'm just going to double click. And notice now when I double click on the, sh the color of the shape yellow, notice here is showing yellow in here, right? So if I want to use this yellow in a gradient below, I would have to drag it. So it's showing my color swatch. It's also showing my two things, my fill and my stroke. Right? Now on the side here, you have type, linear or ra radial. So to activate your gradient, you can even click on gradient. So I just clicked on it. Again, you can do, but don't miss what I'm showing you. Okay, that's one way because I'm going to be undoing a lot in a minute. So. Then you have the option of linear blend or radial, which is round. I'm going to undo. But you notice here in the bottom, there are several options. You see that slider right on top of the gradient? So this is the slider, kind of does the blending of the gradient. You see what happened when I dragged it? Now, these are the colors, so you can drag them. Let's say I want to add another swatch somewhere here. I can just click on it click below. If I don't want to have the swatch, I can remove it by dragging it down. So it's easy. You also have the option to even uh, select the rotation of your gradient. So you can have it set as 90 degrees. You can even type that in what you want. I'm going to go back to zero. So now that's one way. If you want to start from scratch, but let's say I want to use that yellow in my gradient, the one I've done. So how would you do it? If I want to use, I'm going to go back. I told you I'm undoing. I want to use this yellow in my gradient. What do I do? Go ahead. Drag. Yes, you just, okay, so don't select anything. So, you know, drag that into your area. Let's say I want to have it right in the middle. There it is. See, I am losing my swatch. What about if I don't want the black? I just want to go from white to yellow. What do I do? I drag that black out of there. And I can move this. And see how it changed? Okay. So that's what you have options. Now, another uh, thing you can do, and this is, again, you won't be doing the same. In a minute, I'll give you requirements. You can do, you can also adjust the rotation of the gradient and show those options using the gradient tool in your toolbox. It's, uh, it's G on your keyboard, the letter G. Or right here, gradient tool, G. G for gradient. Notice when I activated that, you see that little color swatches here? The gradient, same thing on here as it is on my gradient window, my gradient window. So what I can do a few things here. I can decide on a direction of my gradient. So I want it to be, you know, longer or something like that. Look at that almost invisible. I'm going to move it. Kind of looks all yellow now, right? Because I don't have much gradient happening. I just have very smooth white to yellow. 
So, but you can determine how close, I mean, you can change that as well. And this is going to show, even if you change the position of your gradient, no, not as this angle of it, it's still showing. So you can adjust the distance of your gradient. And then, even if I want to, instead of going back to my window for gradient, I can use my tool to adjust the blend mode. So if I want to add another gradient right here, I can. Right? Same, so what happened? And now let's say I want to add another color. I can just double click on this. Look what pulls up. My color selection. So I want to add more cyan to it. It's affected. You see? So I have right now my gradient going 130 degrees angle with white, cyan, yellow. So that's what I have. Now for your part, what you're going to do, and I'm just going to keep undoing. <laughs> can revert it if it's too many undoes. So this part you're going to do now, after I undo all this. Okay, back to original state. So go ahead and follow me now. Okay, I want you to do the same steps. And some of you are more advanced, you can do something more complicated. So for those who know gradient mesh, make it pretty gradient. -ish. Something. Make it 3D, okay? So two of you. Uh, now, what I want you to do when you select that shape, make sure, oh, don't click on the gradient tool. Always go back between se uh, select tool and hold the V for that shortcut on the keyboard is V. Always go back to that tool. That has to be your go-to tool all the time because it's going to save you time later on when you have to create other things. So make sure you double click on those shapes to activate only the side. And how you will see this is, you notice here it says group, I'm moving my group. Otherwise, if I'm in a layer, it's going to show everything. But I want to double click on the shape and I'm in a group now. So once you have it um, selected, make sure you have gradient showing. Everybody has a gradient. Then drag that yellow right in the middle. Okay, drag that in the middle of your gradient. Okay. Next, once you drag it in the middle, so drag that yellow in the middle. Write the distance between white and yellow, like a half point, and you can see this slide on top for the blend. And right here, add another gradient. Okay, add another point here. Double click on it. Okay, and select with your Select green from the bottom here. Select green. It's going to be kind of rough right now. That's fine. Okay, green. Now, so just, yeah, look at the bottom part and select the green, color green. Now, the distance between the yellow and black, use uh, the same thing, middle point between yellow and black. Click on that, then double click to select uh, blue. So I'm going to select a blue, not cyan, blue. So we're looking from, we looking, it should be looking like this right now. You should have, this is my palette. So black, blue, yellow, green, and white. Okay? Everybody with me? All right. So now, once we have this, well, we're going to adjust a few things. And the only thing we're going to use for this is our gradient tool. What is the shortcut for the tool? Exactly, G. So just drag that out. Now, you notice if I drag the, the, the side to the right side, you cannot see all the colors, right? So once I drag it out a little bit, like till here, the point, what I want to do is move my tools right in the middle. So the shape is right in the middle of it. Okay, so you're not showing really any white and black. I mean, I could remove this, but go ahead and do so. I want you to uh, do the tool, just extend it out, and then just move it so the shape is more towards the middle, where you can really see black or white. Okay? So next, we're going to select the circles. And with this, this gradient, actually, I'm not going to repeat, so I don't need to save it. But I'm going to show you on the circles, we probably have to save it because I don't want to do the same gradient again. So select the circle. Now, what would happen if I just drag this color into it? 
It's just gonna mesh with everything else. Okay. Not. I want you to see this. If I do, let's put it in there. Look at that. I don't want that. And I told you, my favorite thing to do is always go back to the default black and white. But if I click on black and white, look what happens. What happened to my swatch? It's gone. So this is the tip. I, I went back and did. Don't select the shape. Click outside of it. Then go select black and white. Then click on the shape. Because now what it's doing is allowing you to not only have black and white, but you also have that swatch in there, right? So now drag that in the middle of your gradient. Okay. We're going to change a few things. Uh, we're going to do, instead of linear, uh, linear blend, we're going to do radial. So just go ahead and do so. Now in the half points between black and uh, black and uh, blue and white and blue, we can put another color. So just double click on the same middle points there. Okay. And then you're going to select red. So you notice how I selected red? Oh, kind of purple. Purple. Right? So you can do any red, purple, whichever one. I, as long as it's close to those colors. And then for the other point between uh, blue and black, click again, double click and do something like yellow. All right. So you should be left with something like this, round, like a bullseye kind of thing. Now, what if I wanna reuse this gradient multiple times and I don't wanna recreate it? What was the best thing to do? To save it. So now I'll show you how to save it. Oh, okay, gradients itself and patterns as well, they can be saved into your uh, swatches palette. So look at side of your document. See if you have your swatches showing. If you don't have this showing, go under window and click on swatches, okay? I have my swatches on the side here, and this is what you're gonna do. Why don't you look for a second? I have my swatches. I select my gradient in my gradient palette, and I drag this gradient right over here. So I drag it inside my swatches. Now this is saved. And with this document, this file will be saved. So go ahead and do so, okay? Drag that gradient into your swatches palette to save it. Once you have done that, select the second document. Now, because, uh, I mean, second circle, and you can either go to your gradient and select it and it's done. Okay? Now you've finished, congratulations, you have finished the uh, first shapes. Now we're gonna do the same, similar things with uh, your second set. So go ahead, uh, I want you to create gradients for the two circles for the second grouped item and for this uh, other shape using the same colors in it. So go ahead and do your own. I'm going to be showing you what I'm doing. What I mean is you need to include the same swatch colors. So remember how to do that? So if I want to do a circle, what do I do if I select it? If I change it, what happens? It will not be correct, right? If I select it, it's not showing my swatch. So remember, just select it. Now change it to, I mean, now it should be by default black and white. Select that and then drag it in. And then you can apply your own swatches. Make sure the type of blend that you're gonna do here is radial, so it's round. So you can do, you can add other colors to it. I don't care, just have fun. Okay, you can adjust some things. Now, and you want to repeat, the, uh, save the swatch. Once you do that, save your swatch. I actually removed the black in here, so but you don't have to. It can be anything else. All right, so I'm done. I'm saving that uh, gradient in there. So I'm going to repeat it. And remember, in order to add the shape and the color here, 
and click on side of it, select black and white, click on the shape, drag that in, right? And now add our color to it. So I'm adding another one. And if you want to use that swatch later on, you can save it or not, leave it alone. And another thing I want you to do with this shape though, blend it better. So we can do a few things and we can actually change that direction a little bit. So go ahead to your tool, gradient tool, click the G on the keyboard and just extend that out. It kind of blends it. That might be too much. So we're kind of missing yellow, so I'm going to move that around. Okay. So when you're done, go ahead and save the document. Uh, if you already named it, so file save as. So guess what we're going to change? You can, I mean, you can go ahead and put your name if you want to, or you can leave it like this because the folder is already named. But if you want to make sure it's your file, you want to put your last name, first name, initial underscore lab, assign five. But no matter how, if you're showing lab assign five and it's in the right folder, you'll be fine. I have someone else submitted their work as lab assignment five without any name. Okay. And again, at home, CS6, okay? Saved. Saved. 